Hey you guys, it's going to be so, er, not the BAH! <laughs> hey you guys, it's going Tucky Beast here. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to fix the importer reported a generic error in Adobe Premiere Pro 2021. So if it's in an H.265 file, like this one right here, it's going to give you that error. Or sometimes, it just does it for no reason. And it's going to freeze here. Oh, it didn't. Okay. So what you do is you go to the link in the description down below and download Handbrake. So you're going to download this file. It's going to be look like this. Handbrake.fr. You want to click download Handbrake 1.3.3 for Windows 7, 8.1, and 10, 64-bit only. Click download. And save it to anywhere you want. And then you're gonna run the file. Kind of give you this, um, that. So it's gonna give you this window right here. I already have it installed as you can see right here. But you're gonna click next, 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 or install, and then finish. And then you're gonna run handbrake. Or do the search of handbrake and run it there. And then you're going to click on file, select your video file, say I want to select, um, I'm going to select this random file here, then you're going to select H.264 times 264. Or if you have AMD, H.264, NVIDIA NVENC, or AMD. Um, or if you don't have any of those, just do that one. But I'm going to select NVIDIA NVENC because I have a NVIDIA capable graphics card. Select the FPS, the same source. Leave that at the same, or you can just crank that down to zero. That's what I do, because you're going to be rendering it anyway. It's gonna go down anyway, so what's the point when you're gonna delete the file anyway soon? Set this to slow or whatever, or default. Select these two to auto. Yeah, and make sure constant frame rate is selected. Auto, auto, slow. Browse your location, I'm gonna save it to my desktop, and I'm gonna name it desktop, because why not? Make this up here. Why not? And then you're gonna click on start encode. It's gonna encode it. You can close that out, and as you can see here, desktop error. It is a new file. Make sure, make 100% sure you have a shot for selected, or this will not work. And then you can go here, copy, boom, and that worked. And um, yeah, I have the same versions right here. These are the same ones right here, but they're H.264. See, I can just go here and then import. So import them. There we go, and imported, and now I can drag it to my timeline. I said I could drag it to my timeline. If my computer wouldn't lag because I'm recording. I have a really bad computer. That's my time lapse video, by the way. It's a time lapse video. Let's see if I just play it. It won't play. But if that doesn't help, If that doesn't help re-encoding it, if it's an H.265 file, if it's not, if it's not already an H.264 file or a QuickTime file or an MOV file or AVI or whatever, um, try relocating the file. Say you have your your H.264 file and it gives you that error. Right click, copy, right click, paste, or Control C, Control V, whatever. Now it should work. 
Here's my time off video. It's a gigabyte. It's 1.13 gigs. So that should help. That worked for me at least. Oh! Okay, good. I don't have my second screen. Thought I had to do actual editing. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.